Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be teaching you how to you form a trans diol from an alkene. Okay? Trans means the two incoming groups, alcohol here, are on the opposite side. So let me just use uh, cyclopentene as a starting material to form a trans diol. Now the region you need is something very special right. MCPBA small m CPBA they are all in uppercase we call this meta chloro peroxy benzoic acid it looks something like this so it's a peroxy benzoic acid so C O O O, O, H. There's extra oxygen here. So normally for carboxylic acid, we know we have C, O, O, H. Right, this is the ordinary carboxylic acid. But in this case, whenever you see a peroxy, this stands for peroxy, it means you have an extra oxygen between the C, O, H bond, the special one here. Okay? Meta meaning you have a 1, 2, 3. 1, 3 substituent. So this is your meta chloro peroxy benzoic acid. Now, what happens is this MCPBA will deliver the oxygen onto the carbon carbon double bond. So in the first step, what you see is actually an epoxide. Epoxide meaning you have a carbon, carbon single bond, and the last atom of this three membrane is an oxygen. And this is very unstable because of the angle strain that makes it 60 degrees. Normally for this sp3 hybridized carbon, it is supposed to take a bond angle of 109.5. But right now, there's no choice, it's being restricted, so that means this molecule is very reactive. Take note that because of the small ring here and the close proximity of the carbon, carbon and the oxygen, these two bonds must go to the same side, either facing up or facing down. Now in the next step, you can add a strong base sodium hydroxide. What happens is now, this hydroxide is a good nucleophile, you want to break up the bond in the epoxide to lose the angle strain, you know, because now it's very tightly bound together in a ring that's very restricted. But then you, you take a look. Will this come from a top opposite where this oxygen is or from the same side? There are electron cloud surrounding your hydroxide. And there's also electron cloud surrounding the oxygen of the epoxide. So suppose right now, this oxygen of the epoxide is at the bottom, the lower side of the plane. It is not hard to imagine that the nucleophile, which is also negatively charged, will come from the other side to avoid this big electron cloud, which means I will push this from the top, attacking this carbon and causing this bond to break. So this will translate to us having an OH that faces up. So this part came from here, you see? And from a top, slams in, form the bond here, and then causing this part here to break and go to the other side and swing out. You get O minus, but after that, you can add water to put the H back here, and hence you have a trans diol. So, once again, to summarize, when you have an alkene, you just need to add step one, MCPBA. Step two, you can add a hydroxide with some water, you get a trans diol.